Hi, I'm Cassie Jensen. I'm an underwater photographer here in Palm Beach. I hope you enjoyed part one of this two-part series. Now for part two, I'm taking you guys to Bimini. In this episode of SATV, we take you to the Bahamas to swim with the sharks, feed the rays, find the dolphins, and explore shipwrecks. So we made our way to Bimini Big Game Club, which is a very well-known resort. That's where we convened to get our gear ready, and we waited for the captain to come pick us up. This shark dive was very different from the last one we did in Jupiter. On the last shark dive, we saw a bunch of pelagic species, but the reef sharks in the Bahamas typically stay there year-round. This time we were in very shallow water and we saw a totally different species. Some of our guests were very new to diving and they had never swam with sharks before. It was a great first experience for them to be able to see the sharks in their natural environment in such shallow water. They felt very comfortable the whole time, never felt threatened, and it was a great first encounter. <laughs> Swimming with sharks is very important because they're very misunderstood creatures. And when you interact with them like we do, it shows that you can swim with them peacefully, safely, and on their terms. The population of sharks is drastically decreasing. Long-lining sharks, netting, and unsustainable fishing is dramatically reducing the shark species. We decided to go out and hang out with the stingrays. So stingrays are bottom dwellers and they hunt along the bottom of the floor, especially where it's very grassy. So they look for conch, dead fish, anything they can get in their mouth, they try to eat. So the stingrays that we got to see over the weekend were the southern stingrays. And they're actually very common in the Bahamas and you can see them on almost any dive that you do there in the shallow waters. We dive down to look for some conch shells. We're able to find the female conch shell, get the conch out of it, and we can actually feed some of the stingrays right from our hands. Stingrays also have a very sharp barb on their tail, and it's definitely not the sting that will kill you, but it's the infection. We got to spend at least an hour there with them. After the stingrays, we cruised over to the Sapona shipwreck. It's a shipwreck that's half out of the water and half in the water, and it's a very fun place where people go to kind of see what it's like inside of a shipwreck. Shipwrecks are an awesome place for a new ecosystem for wildlife, especially the Sapona because it's really shallow. So there's a ton of different kinds of coral there, and there's a bunch of different kinds of fish that we see. So where the Sapona is located, there's not a ton of reef around, so it actually attracts a lot of different species to it because it's a safe harbor for a lot of different kinds of fish. So we put all our gear on the boat, we get organized, and head straight out to find the dolphins. We always have everybody look for dolphins when we're out there on the water. We have people down on the regular deck and then a couple of us stand on the top tier so we can have a higher vantage point. Some of us look right, some of us look left, and some of us look straight just to keep eyes out in case you know somebody misses one. The weather was in our favor and it only took about 30 to 45 minutes to start seeing some fins hopping up over the surface. I had no clue how many dolphins were gonna be down there. So when I jumped in and saw 30 Atlantic spotted dolphins down below the surface, it was heaven. We also see bottlenose dolphins, which is really special because they don't like to interact with people that much in the wild. Anybody can help reduce the impact of the human footprint. You can go to local beach cleanups, stop using straws, go to different restaurants and see if they can reduce their plastic use, and just being more responsible with your own trash. There is a charitable foundation for any species that you care about and want to protect that you can volunteer for to help save them. The weekend was super fast paced and we got very lucky that we were able to see everything we did. It's the tail end of our trip and we have to rush back to the ferry so we can make it back home on time. I want to thank Captain Ken for facilitating our dives, the Bahamas for having us, and SA Company for the gear. Thanks for watching this episode of SA TV. Hope to see you next time.